We could begin this story in a few places. It seems fitting to come here first. It's 2003, and Tampa Bay's the center of the football universe. Winning a Super Bowl has a way of doing that. With flags in the air and standing room only, guys like Barber and Sapp and Brooks celebrate the biggest moment of their Buccaneer lives. While times may have changed, the mission remains the same. Fast forward to 2020, where this Buccaneer story takes a turn for the unexpected. Bruce Arians is confident waking up, so I can only imagine him feeling confident getting Tom Brady what that must look like and feel like for him. The Bucs have been confident all day, and anytime you reach out to anyone in the organization, it's almost like they didn't want to jinx it. Any other time, this would turn Tampa Bay into a pirate parade. But this isn't like any other time. And if Tom Brady to the Buccaneers is unexpected, then what comes next is unimaginable. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. Epidemiologists have been predicting, saying that this kind of thing was inevitable for a very, very long time. We are looking at something unprecedented in our lifetime. There is no normal anymore. This is different. It's like, I don't know. I mean, it, we got nothing. So where does that leave us? The Bucks appear ready to chase their goals. But with the nation on pause, they're left to wonder if their pursuit will be possible. I hope everybody's healthy, your families are healthy. Hopefully, football can be a little bit of a bright light. I think it's definitely gonna affect everything moving forward. I think we're in unprecedented times. The first ever virtual NFL draft is officially open. When your phone starts vibrating, it kind of just, you get this like wave of, you know, excitement and, and fear and, you know, all these emotions. I didn't know what was going to play uh, when I retired. I didn't know I was going to come out of retirement. The new jersey I'm wearing, I'm prepared to give them the every bit of commitment that I've had my entire career to be the best I could be to help this team be the best it could be. I'm going to give it everything I got like I've done everything in my life for as long as I've been playing this sport. That's what greatness is. You know, when you can do your job and then do a little bit more and people look at it and say, how the heck did he do that? That's, that's greatness. What do you think makes a good ball player? Um, I don't know. You don't know? By the way, uh, the Super Bowl's in Tampa next year. I mean, let's just lay it all out there on the line. If this happens for Tampa, uh, it would be just monumental. That's some storybooks right there. <laughs> Come on. It's so legendary, in fact, that you don't want to talk about it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Bucks offseason started with bang. Signed Tom Brady. It could be legendary, man. Could be. I think it's time to put them in a place. I'm gonna have to set them straight. You don't know me. You don't know where I'm from or what I had to do to get this play. Hey, let me paint a picture. Everybody dissing, acting like it wasn't cool to listen. Now look at me. I say, now look at me. Let me get it started. Bucks fans, here's your new quarterback. After 20 seasons of building a dynasty in New England, Tom Brady is a Buccaneer. Chances are, you've probably seen plenty of Brady over the years. And chances are, he was probably doing something that looked like this. Has time and then throws and then it's caught. Brady to throw. Caught for the touchdown. Brady up and over. Let's talk recency. The past three seasons, Brady's won 41 games, a Super Bowl, and an MVP trophy. But check this out. A career that's lasted 20 seasons. Nearly half of those have ended with a trip to the Super Bowl. Oh, it's true.
Watson Light and the Buccaneers scouting department are on a mission. The team has their quarterback, and now they need to surround him with young talent. Sitting at number 14, the Bucs make the first move of the night. The 49ers are going to trade with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to get Tom Brady more protection. Tampa to 13. We were on the phone with the Niners uh, well before um, their pick. We've been talking to them for a few days, along with a few other teams. So when you make that call, when they're on the clock, you don't have to start the conversation from square one. So who is it then? Speculation on the team's first pick has been all over the place, but they have their sights set on the All-American tackle from Iowa. Tristan. Yeah. Hey, this is Jason Knight, general manager of the Buccaneers. How you doing? Good, how are you? We're doing great. We just moved up into San Francisco pick, and we're gonna, we trade it up, we're gonna take you there. This will be Buccaneer. I love it. Welcome to the club. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to the club, brother. Thank you. Huh? Hey, man, we're, we're excited, brother. Really excited. Man, just get yourself ready to take care of Tom Brady. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It was a pretty special moment, you know, when your phone starts vibrating, you kind of just, you get this like wave of, you know, excitement and, and fear and you know, all these emotions, all the hard work and, and blood, sweat and tears and everything, you know, coming together and just a, a big wave of emotion. It was, it, was, it was incredible. Whoa, that was a smooth, easy right. four, eight, six. He's got very good quickness. He's got very good feet, very good agility. He can run, which is a great asset for an offensive tackle to have. He's coming from a program that is so similar to what we do, um, set-wise and pass protections, run game-wise. So I think he's ahead of the curve that way. Should allow us to put him in their lineup when he is ready. It's a wrap on draft week, and it's undeniable. Bruce Arians and Jason Light have a little extra pep in their step. It could have something to do with the young talent that they plan to inject into an already promising roster. Or it could be the shockwave the Bucks gave the rest of the league when the week began. Breaking news. Rob Gronkowski is a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Uh, no, really, I I'm not kidding you. Rob Gronkowski is coming out of retirement and the Patriots have agreed to terms on a deal that would send him to Tampa to be reunited with Tom Brady. It's Gronk and it was my first time off of sports like in my whole entire life. Uh, it's you know my first time away from the game of football in about 15 years. I was trying to figure out myself, figure out about life and everything. And you know that's one thing that um, I, I found out about myself is that I still have you know a lot left in the tank to give to the game of football and that I enjoy playing it, and that's why I came back. Wow, look at that baby. That's beautiful, man. That is beautiful, Brad. Wow. <laughs> and here we go, we got the white one right here. Ooh, this one's nice, too. This one's real nice, and the red one's nice, too. But wow, Mother's Day gift right here. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all used to save me. Woo! And three. Two, one, go for it. On behalf of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we like to recognize all the frontline workers for their hard work and sacrifices made this year. Thank you and go Bucks. Thanks, sir. No problem. We'll get the jams going now that we're done. Get the jams going. There's many words you can use to describe Rob Gronkowski, but the best one just might be reliable. After nine seasons in the league, Gronk has proven that when he's at his best, you won't find a better option. I gotta catch every pass, baby. There's no excuses here, baby. Let's go. Let me get right in my bag. Uh, why you gonna try to get mad? Uh, everybody wanna keep up. Uh, but you know I'm moving too fast. Uh, I'ma zip, zip right past. Uh, drip, drip all on my swag. Uh, why you trying to size me up? Uh, you don't wanna try your luck. Uh, with Tom, man, we were just super pumped. Let me tell you this, like the build chemistry with another player, just doesn't come like that. Uh, you gotta build up that chemistry, and that chemistry was built up through the nine years uh, that we played together. We talked about how excited we were, but right away after the first five minutes, we said, all right, man, we gotta get to work, big dog. Let's go. The Bucks have their eyes set on the postseason this year, and lucky for them, 
That's where Gronk dominates. He has the most receiving yards and touchdowns by a tight end in postseason history. Add to that the most receptions and receiving yards by a tight end in Super Bowl history. Oh, yeah. Then there's this. Where's the bell? Oh, I left that at home because if I had it on me, the people can start uh, pinning me. You know, I'm the 24-7 WWE title champ right now. It's something special. I was a big WWE fan growing up, but now I got to keep my head on a swirl. It was short-lived, but until he gave up the title recently, Gronk was a two-sport champion. B.A., he was already talking about it. He wants to come and take my belt away from me. I'll be ready, B.A., uh, if he wants to, you know, try something cheap. Uh, I can see that happening, but I'm telling you, I'm going to be ready. Level, 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 level. We ain't never settle now. Nah. Level up. Watch me level up. Watch me level up. Every time, Tampa Bay Buck, so baby. Much, man. What a day. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you, man. That Appreciate was great. It. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, guys. We really need to get a little momentum, right? Like, okay. uh, transfer that action, like, get a little bit of that inertia cool. of you setting your feet. It's not just, like, the arm throw. Sure. But we'd love to get a shot here, like, your hips crossed, maybe just, like, one step with you throwing, just okay. so we could get that, that X shape of your shoulders and hips. And then, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, we we want to work this a bit. All right, on you. Football was my first love. It really was. For me to love it like that has enabled me to work hard at it. To work hard at it and learn lessons over the course of that time to work more efficiently. Even if you just want to turn, right? Even if you start here and then just turn and throw that way. You know, we always have a choice of what we want to focus on. Let's say this to the camera. You know, we could always focus on the thing that maybe didn't work or didn't go our way or this or that. Or you can focus on, you know, what's positive in your life. I choose the joy. You know, sometimes when you lose, you know, that's where you learn the most. You've got to be able to have enough mental toughness to push through whatever you need to, to play your best at the biggest moments. And that's what football is all about. Nice. One more. I feel like, you know, I've still made a lot of improvements and I still feel like I can continue to do it at a championship level. I'm a If this year has taught us anything, it's that so much can change overnight. And around here, things change just that quickly. This year is different. The Bucks have their work cut out for them. While their goal hangs in the balance, this is not a season of hope. It's one of expectation. Complete the mission or run out of time. It's that simple. The focus now is on the details. 
So the big picture takes care of itself. Welcome to Training Camp. Back in March, the NFL mandated that all team facilities be closed to players and staff as a safety measure for dealing with COVID-19. We back. What's up? We back. We live. Today, the players return to something familiar, yet different. You see, y'all just seen a big girl walk in? I need to give me a convertible like VA. Back to it. How does my mask look? What's the point in smiling? <laughs> I can do like a fake smile. Smile with my eyes. Yes, by now we're all too familiar with COVID-19. And because of it, some new twists and turns at Advent Health Training Center will take some time getting used to. Very good. Wow, this is fancy. <laughs> there it is. All players and personnel receive daily tests for the virus. In addition to one of these, a contact tracer. These chips are worn at all times while at the facility, and they monitor all player and coach interaction. Should someone test positive for COVID-19, these tracers will tell you who else might be at risk. When we finally get the contact, there actually is going to be a place like in your jersey for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. The new additions will take some time getting used to, but there's one that stands out from the rest. What's up? You're walking in always with great hopes of you know, achieving great success. And you know it's the start of that. For 20 years, um, you know, I know that, again, there's no shortcuts to doing those things. So, you know, when the first day comes, I think you're excited because uh, you're anticipating what's ahead. Tom Brady's first week in the building should have been months ago, which means the uphill climb of preparing for a season just got steeper. So, it's right to business. From a quarterback standpoint, you you have a way that you've seen football, that you've had, you know, when I see certain defenses and I've seen certain blitzes, I in my mind, they automatically go to a certain scheme or tactics, how to deal with them. And then you meet different people who, like Byron and Clyde and Tom Moore, BA, that they see the same thing with a different set of eyes. You know, a lot of those things that I wish we would probably had the conversation two months ago, you know, it's a situation we're in where we've got to figure out those things right away. The future Hall of Famer hasn't been in this position since his career began. A new routine after 20 years. It's the first time that's I've been the new guy. First time I've had to study my playbook. I had to learn all my coaches' names. There's nuances to all those moments that maybe I've taken for granted for a long time because you're kind of on autopilot, you know, being in the same place, you know you're ride to work, you know, you just kind of show up there. There's a lot of things that are different. Um, I think when it comes to football, a lot of those things are the same. Trust and communication, and it's about all being on the same page so people can anticipate and play with confidence. We've got a long journey ahead on those things.
Okay, okay. Yes, sir. boy. We're going to go one high seam. You're in the slot. Tom's arrival means two things. You're never too old to be the new guy, and class is now in session. A lot of it comes to confidence as a player and your ability to know what to do and know how to do it. I think when you learn a new system, you know, you still don't know all the different things that you want to know about a certain play or scheme. Brady isn't the only one adjusting. He shares the learning curve with Rob Gronkowski. Gronk's a confident player, so am I. But you also, I think part of being a quarterback is you can't really yell at anyone if you're the one screwing up. So I don't like to screw up. But I'm also learning things for the first time. So I do screw up, which is a very frustrating thing for me. And I think Gronk is very similar to that. You know, he was in one place where he knew everything. Now you come to a different place and you don't know anything. So you still gotta find ways to make the right plays. Yep. Good route. He's very detailed. He's very uh, persistent. If he if he misses a throw, he wants to keep. He wants to hit that throw a couple times after that. Really good, Cam. Nice job. If he misses something at all, he wants to do it over and get it right. His preparation is, is unbelievable, and uh, his work ethic is, is crazy. Just like that. Just like that. If he has a question, he's got Cam, he's got OJ, he's got Chris, Mike to ask. And uh, now this is how we teach it, this is what we're doing, uh, this is what they meant. Uh, and then he'll say, I don't like that route that way, Just take it one step shorter. Nope. Nice. Can't stop that. Can't stop that route. We do it right, they can't stop that. They just give me so much confidence that I know that if I just give them the opportunity to make the play, that they're going to make it. That's really good, guys. Really good. Really good. Really good. Good job. I'd say it was a good-ass day. The throws could have been a lot better. You guys are... That was a good-ass day. Now the work's going to start, so we got we got to learn really quickly from one another, with each other, and we're going to... We're going to go out there and try to make the best of it. Go ahead, baby. All right, guys. Big day tomorrow. Let's go Bucks on three. One, two, three. Oh, Bucks. Oh, a little half-ass. You worked hard all year. A little half-ass. You worked hard all year in the mirror for that. Yeah. Come on. So inspirational. <laughs> that was awful. There's no denying the sense of excitement that Tom Brady has brought with him to Tampa. But across the league, the risk of plague during a pandemic still looms large. To cross the finish, each team will rely on their representative within the NFL Players Association. And that's where Ellie Marpet comes in. Being able to express concern that players have, I think, is, is important. And just being involved in something that matters, that has a strong impact on our livelihoods around the building, I think is really important. It's a thankless job, but it's Allie's fifth season doing it. He has a seat at the table to negotiate everything on behalf of his teammates, from the number of games in a season to the league's salary structure. And this year, daily COVID testing for every player and those that surround them at the facility. I think it's challenging to be able to please everyone, right? That's not like 
you have to find what sort of the core demographic, its core membership is uh, of the union, and then from there do kind of what's best for everybody of that core group of players. Today is the deadline for players to let the league know if the new safety measures are enough. Next to Marpet on the O-line is Donovan Smith. He became a father in July, and he has concerns about a return. I just was on my phone and wrote out how I felt about, you know, things that was going on with, you know, what we had to deal with. I'm welcoming a child, you know, into this world, and it's a matter of, you know, how can I protect them from contracting this with all the unknown things, as well as, you know, be safe and still take care of myself and the rest of my family. It's important to, I mean, really to validate anyone's concerns for exposure, especially bring it home to, I mean, for him, it'll be uh, his newborn baby. For other people, it's, you know, a parent who might be at risk, but really anyone that you're living with. People kind of jumped on him and kind of took it negatively. And some people were saying, you know, Donovan is not going to play this year, but he didn't outright say one way or the other what he was leaning towards. He was just asking, ra raising these questions that he had that were very legitimate. And, you know, he's just looking out for himself and his family, which is, how can you fault a guy for doing that? Before camp started, Cam Brate tested positive for the virus after watching a family member do the same. He showed no symptoms, and that's what complicates things for guys like Donovan. The scary thing was, for me, I never would have gotten tested. Like, I never, I would have just continued to work out continue to uh, go to the grocery store, I would have just continued living my life and potentially affecting people, you know, potentially passing on the virus. So for me, that was a little scary and a little alarming. The good news? Donovan's voice was heard by the Players Union and the league. The left tackle will line up for the Bucks in 2020. Uh, I think what excites me the most is just, you know, all of the ability and uh, just the attitude of the guys right now that I feel like, you know, this this team, this organization been, I guess you say, uh, waiting for um, since, what was it, back in 02 <laughs> or whenever it's been. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's it's been real great just to see a lot of the guys' faces and their smiles um, running around, getting after it, doing this thing that we love to do. All right, everybody, welcome back. Obviously, it's been a long time since we've been together. We've got some new faces, all right? I'm not gonna go through all the introductions like we normally do on this day. COVID testing, now man, this is, this is part of life, all right? When you embrace this and realize this is our only chance of winning. Commitments and obligations this year are different. Put a mask on, don't we? Let's face it, dude. We ain't the Bucks. We're 80 mother looking for a job. Get one of them. We're gonna have our ass ready to go to New Orleans. They're allowed to pump in noise now this year. So you know what that's gonna be like in New Orleans. Just like if they had their fans. Trust. You can't trust anybody if you don't look in the mirror and trust that. Is the guy in the mirror doing what it takes? Loyalty. Faithful adherence to a cause. What's the cause? Win the world championship. That's it. We ain't got but so much time this year. It's different. Respect. We gotta respect the process. Coming to work every day. Getting that day's job done. Honest to God, I looked out to today. I've been in this league 27 years. I've never seen so much talent on one field.
who is not a hole you want to be in if you plan to be a playoff team. Tom Brady has never started a season 0-2. Everybody wants to write Tom Brady's obituary, but let me tell you, physically, I have not seen a decline. The mistakes he made last week were from the neck up, and I don't expect him to repeat those type of mistakes. On the other side of things for the Carolina Panthers, new head coach, new defense, new quarterback, but their North Star remains constant. That's Christian McCaffrey. Hey, like I already told Tate, ain't a lot to be said. We all in one. Let's fix that today. Yeah. Let's come out this victorious. That's all that matter today, man. That's all that matter. And that's all that matter. Hey, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Setting up the screen for McCaffrey. That was an off-target Eric throw. And Jordan Whitehead came flying in to just scoop that off the deck. Here's Jones. Stiff arm. End zone. Ronald Jones with a touchdown for the Bucks. They can't tap you, bro. McCaffrey out there as well. Bridgewater stepping up. That ball's loose. Oh, oh, oh. Jason Pierre Paul scooped it up. Nobody touched him down, so that's a live ball. And he muscles ahead to the 23 yard line. Brady pumps and throws. Back shoulder for Evans, and just like that, touchdown Tampa Bay. Collapsing pocket, Bridgewater goes down. And Dominican Sue Jason, Pierre Paul, William Golston. First sack of the season for the veteran. arm of the fullback is in. Here's McCaffrey trying to get the Panthers on the board. Panthers have scored. And here is Fournette trying to plunge in and he's in for his first Tampa Bay Buccaneer touchdown. McCaffrey in there next to Bridgewater. Fourth and two for Carolina. Little pitch to McCaffrey. He's got the first down. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Let's go. Keep making plays. Let's go. Answer the down. Answer the right down. Well, you've got to be thinking, if you're Tampa Bay right here, we have to possess the clock. We need to put an eight to ten play drive together, churn a couple first downs, eat up six, seven minutes of this clock, and end it in a score to make it a two-score game. Drive home right here. Big drive. Head on the head. Now run hard. Leonard Fournette has been a huge Tampa Bay key in the fourth quarter. He's out there. We need to Slips through, breaks free, Leonard Fournette. What a gut punch from Tampa Bay. A body blow from Leonard Fournette. First home game of the year. Back on track, man. One and one. Feel good to be a Tampa Bay Buck right now. Go keep going, man. Just start. Team full of playmakers, offense and defense. Exactly what we need if we're going to go there where we want to be at. Can't tell me nothing today, though. I know it should feel different, but it feels a lot different. From the first whistle to the last whistle, it's going to be a ball game for your boy. I don't know what the numbers going to look like. They're going to look real good. I got you, man. We had a first week of preparation. Let's play how we can for the play, and we're going to like the result. Let's get it. Family on three, one, two, three. Let's go. Let's play football, man. Put it all on tape. Let's grind today. Have one another back day. Both set the camera today. All right, Jets. What kind of day? I know the usual. It's game day, baby. You got to bring it back. You got to bring it back to the door. Tip over the yard, man. I'm going to say tip over the yard, man. Okay, baby. And there's the block. A flag is thrown. But Patrick O'Connor scoops it up for Tampa Bay and takes it down to the 10 yard line of Denver. 
Brady got his first Bucks win last week. It was the 250th career victory between the regular season and the playoffs, the winningest quarterback all time. Brady throws it for Chris Godwin, lunging for that goal line, and he is in for the touchdown. Welcome back to the Bucks, Chris Godwin. Second career sack for the rookie out of Minnesota, Antoine Winfield Jr. Quick throw into that tunnel, and it's caught for a touchdown by Mike Evans. Sneaky design for a score for Tampa Bay. Let's go, here we go. There's some contact. Jeff Driscoll trying to get away from the former Bronco, Shaquille Barrett. And there is the first sack of the season for the man who led the NFL last year with 19 and a half. Another drive starts with great field position for Tampa Bay. And Brady wants a shot into a tight window. Penalty marker is thrown. Josie Jewell and O.J. Howard are fighting for it, and it's a catch. Brady for Evans. Another stare and another touchdown for Mike Evans. What about you? We're getting started, baby. Oh. What are these questions? To the outside. Nice maneuvering by Tim Patrick. A key touchdown for the Broncos late in the first half. Another third and long. Driscoll maneuvering and wrapped up. And indeed, it is a sack for Shaquille Barrett. Welcome back to Denver, Shaq Barrett. Mama, I love you. Hey. Love you, sweetheart. Love you, kids. Appreciate everybody watching this game. It's going good right now. It's going to get better. We got closed this one out all four quarters. We ain't giving them no more mental lasses. We got to put the pressure on the board. Another blitz. Driscoll with a fluttering pass and a leaping interception from Levante David. Levante. Hey. hey, can you look a little bit more athletic catching that drum run? Rip it to the end zone, and it's picked up by Edwards. First career interception for the former Kentucky Wildcat. First one, got the dub, first road win. We had people out here with the dub. We got that dub in the Mile High Club. You know what I'm um, Look at all the fans. Show all the fans. Look at all the fans that showed up. Another win, we gotta keep sacking them. Feeling real good though. You know, it was a pretty win. Mile High Stadium, I'm out of breath like a mug, but you know, win's a win, we'll take it. Hey, that altitude real when y'all practice here and play it all the time. Hey, but we got the job done. We all stacked up again. We made them plays, man. Felt good to be back in Denver. Hey, make sure y'all turn in next week because we're going to do the same thing. Just keep getting better and better every week. There is no doubting the fact that Tampa Bay has an extremely talented roster. The question coming in was how quickly would Brady mesh with this team? This defense is the real deal, and it's a nice blend of veterans and young players. The Los Angeles Chargers, they are one and two. Maybe this was not the timetable that they imagined, but Justin Herbert is their starting quarterback. 
Hey, protect our house. Let's Yo, do it. It's home for the boys. Have your boy back. I got y'all back. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three, one, two, three. Bam. We're underway from Tampa. Ten play of the drive. Buccaneers trying to cash in. Ocean Man is great. Brady. Nice rolls. Touchdown. It's great on the receiving end. for this game and talk to Aaron Rodgers a couple of days ago. I can't remember the last time I heard him this content, and why not? He hasn't thrown an interception. His yeah. team is 4-0. Every man playing with their brother. You feel me? Communication, communication, communication. Y'all know what 12 gonna do, but he don't know what the we gonna do. Turn up on these, let's go, man. Gang on three, one, two, three. Hey. This Tampa Bay defense will certainly be the biggest test for the 4-0 Green Bay Packers so far in 2020. Pass is picked. Intercepted back the other way. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Intercepted by Jamel Dean. Let's go. Few exceptions, the Packers have taken the play clock down to about one. Here's one broken up, another pick. 
Deflected and back is Mike Edwards just into the ball game. Hey Mike! 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 Screen. Brady likes to look his way as Tom steps up, throws, end zone, pass caught. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's the rookie, Tyler Johnson. That boy didn't play three games. He ain't no rookie no more. He didn't got six. Got six. Yeah. He ain't a rookie no more. It's over with. He's dead. T.J. I want to talk to baby. Where you going, boys? A lot of way to go, Vontae. A lot of playing, huh? It's on third down and three. Again, play clock at one. And Rodgers is set. Levante David makes a play. They hold him to three points. That's that's a great job. If they give up a touchdown, that's a that's a whole different field going in at halftime. Brady lofts it. Gronkowski. He's got it for the touchdown. And these two have now hooked up 91 times. I was in. I was in. Hey. Nice job, babe. Way to go. Oh. I got one. Yeah. Oh. Got one. You got it. Oh. Yeah, baby. And there was a nice one, too. Rodgers at 44% in this first half. Came in completing at over 70% through four games. 21 seconds left, no timeouts. And now sacked again as he's shut down by Indomitian Sue. <laughs> and he gets up screaming at Rodgers. Play the Packers and, and Rodgers. He's he's attempted it a couple times, but this secondary has done a nice job of mixing it up and not giving up any big plays. Rodgers is set. David was back there with JPP. And down he goes. Aaron Rodgers gets sacked again. Devin White. I can't say enough for the job that Todd Bowles has done. It's really been something. to play clean football and do everything they needed to do to win a game, but they end up dominating the game. I, I just think this is one of those games that propels you on to really great things. Good job, buddy. You okay? You're yeah. You're yeah. Good job, man. Right. Yeah. Good luck, You guys got a good team. Yeah, yeah. you too. Good luck. See you, baby. Good you got a dub. Ain't hey, undefeated no more. How about those Buccaneers? We're going to have to raise the flag now. We are coming, we are grinding, and we want it. We want it. We out here in Tampa. Yes, sir. We in it. We in here. Y'all yeah, mean to knock them off real quick. Real, real, real quick. I'm like, I'm like, I finally got my first pick six. Like, it's an exciting feeling. Like, I never, I never, I never scored a pick six before. Hey. Hey.
COVID dominated the storylines over the course of the week for the Las Vegas Raiders, but four of their five normal starting offensive linemen are here. They have to be in this together, and ultimately, it's John Gruden. You have to call plays in such a way to keep you out of third down and long, second down and long situations. Home, fellas. Let's make sure we go home with a W. If we play the way we came for the plan, we'll do just that. Let's get it. I'm looking for win number five today, man. Stay tuned. Let's show them I still got that. A young rock star. A young rock star. Brady and the Bucks will set up. Trying to cash in. Sneak from Brady and he'll power it home for the touchdown. And Brady does it better than anybody's ever done it, the quarterback sneak. He gets his second of the year, and the Bucks answer back. Brady off the fake. Has time. Throws for Gronkowski, and he's got it inside the five-yard line. Jeff Heath put a shoulder into him, but Gronkowski secures it. Red zone chance, looking for Gronk, and he's got it for a touchdown. Back-to-back -back weeks, Rob Gronkowski finding the end zone, and the Bucks have taken the lead. Good right, answer, boys. Keep running the ball, dog. Oh, pressure and a sack for Devin White. Just maneuvered around Josh Jacobs with no issue. Second sack in as many weeks. 50 seconds to go. Nothing to worry about here. We're good. This would be huge for the Raiders to get a stop. And it is caught for a touchdown! Got it too high. The show is not allowed. Nobody's stopping this. The field goal by Suckup will keep it at a two touchdown game. 24 to 10, Tampa Bay on top. Oh! And now Carr has Aguilar. It's caught inside the five. What it is it? Quick throw, slant, Waller, touchdown. Darren Waller with his third of the year. They got the mismatch and took advantage, and things getting a little bit heated now between these two teams. Clutch score for Chris Godwin of the Bucks. You know the vibes. Easy, baby. Let's get it. You call TB on the Bucks. Let's get it. On the Bucks, baby. One, two. Let's go, baby. Oh, I'm not going to talk that. It's them. Yes, sir. 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 Playing quarter. Big drive for Carr and the Raiders. And it's off the hands of Aguilar and taken away by Antoine Winfield. First career interception for the outstanding rookie, and he takes it to the 24-yard line. Yes, sir. I told you. I told you. I was coming to make it. Brady back of the end zone for Tyler Johnson, and he hauls it in for a touchdown. Yes, after a sluggish start this year, it felt like they seemingly look sharper and sharper each week offense. Anytime you hang 45 on somebody in the NFL, you're doing something right. That's how you come out with and take one. We like that, man. Hey, we like that, bro. Hey, bust on three, one, two, three, bust. bust. Look, man, look, you can't go to my house's hood without your homies. Man, we used 
Nah, man, listen, you can't do that, man. That's not safe. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have your whole crew before you go smash his hook. Everyone else? The whole crew with you. Is that where I grew up? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but we pulled it off and we got the dub. So that's all that matters, baby. Hey, we got to come back. We got to get better. Hey, there's more work to do. It's long season. Family on three, one, two, three. Hey. Nacho. Nacho in. Nacho in. Y'all know what it's going to take. All that delay sitting on the runway. We here today. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So you play with everything you yeah. got. We know what this means to us. Uh -huh. start up front. Uh -huh. End up front. Lines on three. One, two, three. Five. We know football's an emotional game, right? If you're the Buccaneers, you're angry because you got clobbered <laughs> by the Saints last week. Today, can they tap into some of that against the Carolina team? Much improved since week two. Back today, man. Yes, sir. This is the next game is the most important, right? Sure. You gotta get this done, man. Everything you got, all right? Let's get it. Join us here in Charlotte, little NFC South battle. You know, here are the Panthers. They've lost four in a row. Bridgewater played a heck of a game last week. Now they just gotta find a way to finish. First and oh. goal. Fake to Davis. Bridgewater locked in corner of the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. The first NFL touch for Colin Thompson is a score. And I line Rob Rakowski off in the bunch on the right side of the screen. Big ol' 87. Brady looking the other way though. Firing and it is caught for the touchdown. They go to the other tight end, Cameron Brady. And the Buccaneers are on the board. Sammy on motion, fake it to him, quick throw to Moore, looking for blocks, and he's got him. DJ Moore has a pass to the end zone, touchdown Carolina! <laughs> Second and long, four-man run, Brady lofting for Gronkowski, who holds it in, Gronk still going, breaking tackles, down inside the five! He dusts it off Jeremy Chin and a big game to Grump. Fake to Fournette. Brady steps into it, throws. Evans is he inbounds. Touchdown. Eighth of the year for Mike Evans. At the two. That's where Tampa Bay will start. Their second possession of the second half. Jones will get a big hole. Jones gets by. Ronald Jones may go all the way. Being chased from behind. Does Jones have enough? Still on his feet. Ronald Jones, 98-yard touchdown. Wow. Again, Bridgewater steps up in trouble, throws, and it's intercepted by Pierre Paul, who dropped in coverage and has the pick. First and goal for Tampa Bay. There's a signal, touchdown. And Carolina's got a lot of work to do. Third and four, Bridgewater in trouble, steps away, and sacked. Jason Pierre-Paul, who had the interception earlier, now has the sack. Brady going for Gronkowski, wide open, touchdown Tampa Bay. And so for the Buccaneers, five touchdowns, five different players scoring touchdowns. Ronald Jones with 192 yards rushing. A very good day for Bruce Arians and the Buccaneers. And a 46-23 win.
Hey, like I said, bro. Adversity, bro. You gotta bounce it. Fight it off. That's how you bounce back. Tough loss last week, but we bounced back. We got 46 points. Our offense was clicking. Our defense did super well. That's a big win on the road. Back in the win column. No. Bucks win. That's all I got to say. All right, let's talk about Tampa Bay. So much talk about Bruce Arians, head coach, and Tom Brady. But how about the defense? It has been knocked around here. They've played some really good football teams, and they face another top 10 offense here this afternoon. I know what time it is, bro. This is playoff football right here. Let's go, bro. We all we got. Y'all know we only going to go as far as we take it. Let's go out here and ball out. They're down in four. Pressure and Cousins is going to go down. Shaq Barrett. Here they are now, and they are really good down in this area of the field scoring touchdown. Cook is the main reason why he is in for the touchdown. We need team. First snap in Vikings territory for Tampa Bay. Brady all day downfield. So it brings up first and goal at the one. We need team. Jones with the lead for the touchdown. Tampa Bay. has to spin out and he cannot get away. Down goes Cousins again. Just a four-man rush. Ball is out. Picked up by JPP. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will take over. This was a game that was uh, awfully important for both of these teams. And now with Tampa Bay winning this game. Big game. We needed it. You know, right behind us in the playoff run. And we got it, baby. That's what we do. Hey, bring it tighter. Hey, listen, y'all boy. This is the moment we built for right here. You feel me? We already started our playoff game last week, bro. In order to get to the playoffs, we gotta win this game today. Leave it out on the field. Play a hundred. Have your man back. I got your back. You feel? I take the ground for you. I got your back. I got your back on that other clock. Let's go. Hey, boom. Let's get started, man. We're we turn up, we turn up now. And everybody, man, let's have your brothers back, man. Because that's what we're playing for. All right? Hey, hey. Band of brothers on three. One, two, three. Band of brothers. Come on, man. Bring the energy. We're fighting to go to the ship. We're fighting for the playoff. We're fighting to get that ball. Damn. Let's go. For the Buccaneers, they just want to win. They lost two in a row, had the bye come off and get a victory, a much needed one. And now we'll see if they can kind of run a string of victories together against the Falcons from Atlanta. Blitz coming. Ryan floating it to the corner of the end zone. It's caught for the touchdown. Gage on the reception and the Falcons, the opening drive score. Tenth play of the drive coming up. And they converted that fourth down. Another fake, it's Ryan, has time going to the end zone, it's caught for the touchdown! Calvin Ridley has his ninth of the year. And this will be a 32-yard attempt. And Koo is up and good. 26 in a row for Youngway Koo. And a 17 to nothing lead with just 15 seconds left in this first half. Steps in 
it. Guns it to Brad Evans, surging for the end zone. And he's down at the one. The big play to Evans, and now first and goal. They go jumbo formation here. Gonna give it to Fournette, and he is in for the touchdown. Give it to Fournette, who is lunging towards the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And so this third quarter, the Buccaneers offense has exploded for 21 points. They were 17 down at the break. Not anymore. What's coming? Ryan. second half. We started the broadcast and, and, and I asked you how dangerous is Tampa Bay, right? They've been on a little roller coaster. This game has been totally the roller coaster. I'm gonna ask you again, how dangerous are they? <laughs> Based on the second half, extremely dangerous. Oh, don't never doubt us, man. Once we put it together, it's gonna be get live time. It's the best thing in the world. Great team win, hard fought. Great for the be out here, man, with my team to do what we love to do. NFL, certainly for the Detroit Lions, was five coaches being unavailable for this Saturday contest due to COVID-19 protocols. The Buccaneers, who have a major opportunity in front of them for a chance for their first playoff berth since 2007, but lately some notoriously slow starts. How do you remedy that? <laughs> On second down, looking for Gronkowski. He pulled it in, and he's in for the touchdown. reception for a touchdown this year. Tom Brady just set the new Tampa Bay record for passing touchdowns with his 34. Matthew Stafford was limping off the field at the end of the last series. Chase Daniel has to come in now for a third consecutive week. Daniel a little surprised by that snap, and he gets ripped down. The pursuit by Jeremiah Ledbetter, the former Detroit Lion. Fournette will lock home for the touchdown. Tampa Bay with a steamrolling start offensively. They're up 19 to nothing.
offensive football from any team throughout the entirety of the season. Brady, end zone shot again, and it is Antonio Brown for his second Tampa Bay touchdown. DeAndre Swift back in for this first down with a five-man rush from Tampa Bay. That gets to Chase Daniel, and it's Devin White. Blaine Gabbard, a one-year deal last year, never appeared in a game, re-signed for one more season, making his 60th career NFL appearance. Blaine Gabbard starting the second half with a throw down the middle, and Rob Gronkowski has a touchdown from Blaine Gabbard. And for the first time in 13 years, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are headed to the NFL playoffs. About damn time. The Bucs back in the playoffs. We got a lot of work to do. We're going to dance, baby. Me too. Man, unbelievable, man. This team, we fought so hard this season, and uh, it feels good to get our efforts rewarded. Next up, playoffs, baby. You coming. You coming. You coming. Bucks made it clear that even though they're in, they want to win today, get that 11th victory, that fifth seed, that top wild card spot. Yeah, good to be back, baby. Play off five. Ever since they faced this team a couple weeks ago, entering into that second half, they've been playing lights out, and they want to continue that. We had a finish season strong. Big day for the boys. With Tom Brady, the arm strength has been something everyone's talked about, but he's shown that he can put the ball where he needs at any moment in the game. Well protected, and going deep, inside the five, catch made! Chris Godwin has a Buccaneer touchdown! championship mindset of Tom Brady at age 43 put a cap on a great season for the Bucks with his performance today upward and onward for Tampa Bay
This is our home. And at the end of the season, history will be made here. But this place is so much more than that. This is our playground. It's our crew. And after a year of facing our challenges head on, this is where the road runs out. The Super Bowl's in Tampa next year. I mean, let's just lay it all out there on the line. If this happens for Tampa, it would be just monumental. Tampa Bay is no stranger to this moment. Woo! We all know about struggle, and we know how to overcome. Coast to coast, when we raise the flags, we know what's at stake. What are you? We didn't want to go out there and make it help. After all, this was never meant to be easy. The road to playoffs start tonight. Huh? How bad y'all want? No excuses, man. If you don't make the first play, make the next three plays, all right? They got the field on the All day. Let's go. All day. For the originals, for the legends, and for everyone who's waited long enough. So pack your strength, your giddy up, and finish the ride. Together, let's raise them up. First playoff game for Tampa in 13 years. First playoff game for Washington in five. It's Rivera against Bruce Arians. We've seen this twice in the playoffs before. Rivera winning both. Tampa brings pressure, picked up for the moment. Heineke has it deflected, and it looks like it's intercepted. Sean Murphy bunting got the hands down there. Six rings, Tony, and when he throws his first pass tonight, he'll be the oldest quarterback to throw a pass in a playoff game. Leonard Ford at the back on third and three. On play action, Brady to his second look. It's open, it's Antonio Brown for the touchdown. Antonio Brown, who got red hot the last couple of games, able to sneak out. This is the situation where you've got to dial up your best play here to score because you don't want to have to face that dilemma on fourth down. Third and goal. Heineke inside give. It's McKissick to the end zone. Washington touchdown. I think this Washington defense now, they've got to feed off that, and this is a big drive. Deep drop here, Brady down the middle, it's caught for the touchdown, Godwin! He beat Ronald Darby, and Chris Godwin extends the Tampa Bay lead. Third and five. Heineke in trouble again, he's able to escape. Keeps the play alive, runs for the first down, dies with the pylon, is he in? Is he in? Yes, touchdown, what a run! Me? What a play by Heineke! Around 10 minutes remaining here in regulation time. Second and goal now for Brady. And he'll give to Fournette, he powers it in That's from the left I, side. And in for the touchdown. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for, Mike. Third and ten. Again, protected, throwing that quarter route. Did he get the feet down? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Stevenson. And now Brady and the Buccaneers will get a chance to do something that Bruce Arians pointed out with pride that they've been good at lately, and that's getting down at the end of the game and closing the game out. Second and eight. No snap. Brady's got that. Shot downfield for Evans, who brings it in and goes out of bounds. Right at the 40-yard line. Washington's had a good rush a couple of times, blocked an extra point earlier, officially 37. Almost got there, and Suckup just sneaks it inside the left upright and extends the lead. 22, it's third and 10, and the pressure's coming. Heineke, look out from behind, he gets brought down and sacked by Levante David, a big loss there. 
plus four. Heineke still is flushed. He's pressured. He's got to fling it. Got to have it. Throws it down. Oh, yes. Long grabs and incomplete. Well, speak of a moment. It's been more than a moment since Tampa Bay has been able to celebrate a playoff victory. In January 26, 2003, and the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl. It's the last time Tampa Bay has celebrated a postseason victory. Very cool. Let's go. Hey, today our day, man. All that work we put in, man. We deserve to be here. Let's show the world, man. This is what we do. Hey, it's set. It's set. It's set in here. The tempo set in here. Let's go, man. Let's be the man God called us to be. Playmakers. Playmakers on three. One, two, three. Well, for the NFC side, it's been a constant with Drew Brees and the Saints. They're four-time division champs the last four years. But the guy that's crashed the party on the NFC side is the guy who's won six Super Bowls. That's Tom Brady. And over the last five games, he's playing some of the best football of his life. Great week of preparation. It's nothing new. This is what we do. Fly around, make plays, and that's a fun. In this divisional matchup, first time in the postseason, the Bucs and the Saints have squared off. Hey, like the Second and nine now. This one's picked. Intercepted by the Bucs. And it's Murphy punting down the sideline. He is going to be marked out at the three. Sean Murphy bunting. From the three, Brady throws, pass caught, Evans touchdown. Tampa Bay on top. Breeze to the sideline and Jameis Winston comes in. Well now they've got Winston lined up wide to the outside in a direct snap to Kamara, now Winston, now Traquan Smith, flag is down, Smith is into the end zone for a touchdown. Good snap, good hold, good kick. Each kicker is two for two, each team has a touchdown and we are tied at 13. Let's go 13, 13. Third down and two. Quick throw, Cook makes the catch, first down, balls out, and into the arms of Devin White. After Winfield, the rookie, forced the fumble. Let's go! Let's go! Good protection again, pass caught, touchdown for Nett. Both turnovers now for the Saints have been really costly. Still no catches for Michael Thomas. You see the total yards in the game, second and eight. Breeze throws, and he's picked by Devin White. Another turnover, and White picks his way down the sideline. Takeaway number three for this Tampa Bay defense. Brady's going to take it. Touchdown. Tom Brady has got the touchdown on the carry from just outside the one. As he is uh, shut out on the high five from the official. Let's focus on a 10-point game under five to go, three timeouts. And Breeze with, it seems like an inability really to get the ball down the field. You know, right now they're battling not only this defense, they're battling the clock. Well, they've got to get somebody down the middle or up the sideline. Breeze able to step into this one. This one's up for grabs and picked. Intercepted by Mike Edwards. As it was tipped by Levante David. And this defense has had some day here in New Orleans for Tampa Bay. Hey, you get a pick. You get a pick. You get a pick. You get a pick. That is going to be one heck of a plane ride back to Tampa Bay for this football team. Mm -hmm. As Arians in his second year has taken the Bucks with the help from a 43-year-old quarterback named Brady. Great plan, bro. Great plan. Left man. Yeah, ball. That's what I came here for. They believed in me. I believed in myself. On to the next.
This game to unfold in front of our eyes. We know you feel the same way. We all ready for this moment right here. Let's see this opportunity, dog. Like, yes, get a lot, dog. Yes, sir. At the end of a season unlike any other, it just doesn't get any better than what we're about to see. It's a new week, a new opportunity. We want to go play at home next week. We got to take care of the day. It's time to kick somebody's ass, man. If you've ever wondered about how much noise a crowd of 8,500 people can make, the answer is a lot. Brady throws end zone. He's got Evans for the touchdown. Jason Pierre-Paul. Here's one down the sideline. It is caught. Touchdown, Green Bay. Valdez scantling on a beautiful throw from Aaron Rodgers. Able to 
will make this an eight point game and the guy who has finally settled the kicking position for the Buccaneers good from 46. But it comes down to Tom Brady on the field. The Green Bay Packers defense on the field needing to get a stop and the game hangs in the balance for a trip to Super Bowl 55. Toss to Godwin. He's got the first down and this game's over. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to Super Bowl 55. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. How about that? Good job. Going to the Super Bowl, baby. What do you think? I love you, man. Way to go. You work for this. You work for this, bro. You work for this. You deserve everything, bro. You deserve everything. You came day one, bro. You said you would come out here to third. You work for this, bro. Bruce, you can see the reaction of your group. Seventh season as a head coach, second with Tampa, your first trip to the Super Bowl. How do you describe the moment, B.A.? We're holding this amazing, and uh, got too many people to thank. Uh, family, friends, but these guys right here, this, this is a real family. picture of this. <laughs> if you can uh, imitate his French accent for us. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you're a good guy. <laughs> okay, our next question will be from OCU Manuro. JTD. They call me El Capitan. <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a line or two. Whenever you're ready. Okay. I'll say it. More cuddle in the huddle. It's cold out there. There we go. Remember.
four, three, two, one. All right, Cameron, things are all set. Cool, thanks. This one's about belief, about legacy. At this point, there's not much else to say. Just getting here wasn't enough. We wanted redemption. We went north to prove it wasn't a fluke. What's left is the ultimate prize. Who holds the prize in this war of survival? Run through the night, ready for We didn't come home to be a part of history. We came here to own it. What you gonna do when the opportunity presents itself? We all ready for this moment right here. Let's get it, man. How your brother back? That's all we need. It's gonna be enough. Brady goes downfield, and he's got Gronkowski. Good start off the edge. Barrett, he gets the sack. We like that. And we built like that. Like right that. Balls out into the arms of Devin White. That's how y'all fall, buddy. This was picked, intercepted by the Bucks. You get a pick! You get a pick! You get a pick! What a move! A spin and touchdown! Hey, that was a run. Go get you another one. Going to Ronald Jones. Jones breaks it. Brady goes for the deep shot. He's got a touchdown! Oh my God! It's one of the best catches. Oh, it's exceptional. There's only one game left. It's the biggest game of my life. It's the next one. Yeah. It's the next one. Go. It's the right. Stand up here. For one last time, Tampa Bay. Let's go! Talk to us, JP. Yeah, come on. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Bring it in. Hey, this is the moment right here. Yep. This is the moment we all been waiting for, dog. Oh. We were in this very booth. 10 weeks ago on Thanksgiving Sunday for this matchup. The Chiefs won by a field goal. This will be waiting for all year. We'll be finally here. We gotta make it count. As they're walking off the field, you say on the air, I think we're gonna be back for the Super Bowl for this matchup. Well, everybody wants to be up right now, man. Let's not take this opportunity for granted. At 7-5, no one thinks they're going to go ahead and get there. But Tom Brady, he was learning his team. And the culture you could see, they started to believe. Let's go! What the f*** your mindset like tonight, huh? Yeah. We on the biggest yeah. stage. The world is watching. What you going to do? What you going to do? I'm going to hit somebody in the mouth. This Tampa Bay defense gets overshadowed because of the quarterback story, but they have ratcheted up. This all mother f*** out. We're going to protect this with everything in us. Hey, we're on. breaking it down on champion. Champion on three, one, two, three, champion. And then you've got this guy right here. We see them so many times, and we know him well enough to know. He hopes that his career can be measured one day against what Tom Brady's career looks like. Let's go, play for your brother, and don't let nothing, nothing, nothing distract you. Let's go, we both. Man, this is gonna be awesome. It's the ultimate script going in. tells us we still haven't played our best game yet. Well, if that's the case, then you're in trouble, Kansas City, because they've been playing fantastic. From the 45, six DBs on the field for the Chiefs. Brady goes sideline, and he has his man. That's Antonio Brown. Play action. They go to Brady with a blocker in front. Cameron Brate down to about the 24. Here's Brady's pass. It's Gronkowski. Back again. The biggest tandem for touchdowns now in postseason history. 
Gronk is back, Jim. The old Patriot teammates reunite in the Super Bowl for a score. Go, baby. Thirteen touchdown, must by a quarterback receiver duo all time in the postseason history. That's my dog, Robbie G, Big G. Hey, Big G. Hey, Rock, Rock, gangster. Dan Brady from the pocket. He's got Evans. They've got the Kansas City defense on its heels now. Brady play action. Look at third option. End zone. Caught! Gronkowski again with the touchdown. We're coaching, baby. And right now, this drive, huge. And do you dare run it? Yeah, that would be into the half if he stopped. You don't dare run it here. You fake it here, and then you run on the next one if you don't get it. There's the fake. There's the pass. And there's the catch for the touchdown. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown and what a job. Oh, yeah, look at that buddy, oh, baby. Come on. And here's the unsportsman. Like he's running after him. Matthew's going at him. Tom's not one to just walk away from good talk. Hey, our best right here. by Tampa coming out, just screams, little buns, play action, gets the big play. You got him. Yeah! I didn't score because I wanted you to score. Robbie G, my dog. I love Robbie the third. <laughs> Tony, with Kansas City, tell us how they can get back into the game. It's going to be tough. This is one of the toughest matchups for them simply because they're really good on the edges defensively. Well, this is right here what dreams are made of, right? You come back in this one, this will live on the test of time forever against Brady in this situation. He is taken down by Shaq Barrett. Sometimes dreams become nightmares pretty quickly, yeah. Jim. And they, they can flip in a second, can't they? They call the reinforcements in. It ain't got none of two ways. This is where, I mean, literally, he has been Superman throughout his entire career. It's like now or never, though, for this team. If he, if he can put that cape on, Third and 14, he heaves it, it's knocked away, and on the deflection, it's intercepted. That is Winfield with the pick. Let's go! He's been the rookie of the year. Come on, man, he's making plays all year. Hey, you better call the National Guard. You better call the, oh, no. you better call the war. I told the ref, I said, don't stop it till you see blood. You see blood yet? I see no blood. Oh, we, we got to keep running up. We got to keep no. going. We don't even keep score. We just run that stuff and leave. So look. Oh, they've got him again. Oh, what a hit. Ball is out, recovered by Kansas City, but Mahomes is just hammered by Indomitian Sue, a play that typifies the night for this Tampa Bay defense. Get him out of here. Here comes Mahomes, trying to find the end zone, and no, how about that, one last indignity, intercepted by White, that defense, tremendous tonight. Let's give them a share of the MVP trophy, right, what they've done in the playoffs to hold Breeze, Rodgers, and Mahomes at bay. How about that set of oh. quarterbacks? Has it ever been harder? Ever? This our house! This our house! Time to, hey, let's go! One more snap, would you have guessed when this impossible season was trying to launch that you'd get it all in, you'd get to Tampa, and when the Super Bowl ended, the ball would be in the hands of Tom Brady. 
I don't know why we ever think it won't. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a second Super Bowl title in franchise history. forever you can't take it away from us thank you guys thank you all we came in this way there's a lot of boats yeah, so is anyone working today no way How does it feel to be undefeated in the playoffs? We going for two. We're the number one team in the world. Tampa Bay, this season was a whirlwind. The biggest story in the entire sports world is coming to shape uh, in real time here. Looking forward to the opportunity to learn from the new coaches and the new players that I'll be playing with. I'm going to go out and give everything I got. I'm hoping for an NFL season, certainly, but I don't think we're out of the woods yet. We dip our toes into the real world events, and this weekend sticking to sports became almost impossible to do. This is what we got to do to win. Discipline. Adaptability. This is life now. With all that we faced this season, giving up was never an option. And while we raise the flags for many reasons, we raise them as one. We raise them for the lifers and for those who joined the fight. We raise them for the icons, the ones who showed us the way. We raise them with swagger and for the late game dagger. And all the cannon fire along the way. Here's Brady's pass. It's Gronkowski back again. We raise them through the heartbreak because it makes the victories even sweeter. I'm so proud of Buck Nation for staying with us. Hey, stepping up, getting loud. It's pretty good, don't it? We raise them for you, Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a second Super Bowl title in franchise history. You were there every step of the way, and together, we made history. <laughs>